Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Hotels in Florida collect between 3 and 6% extra each night on top of their quoted rate. We're here in Chicago where it is cold. The so-called bed tax is used to fund tourism advertising and promotion. I'd rather be in Florida. Advertising aside, State Senator Jeff Brandis thinks that the bed tax cash should pay for things like broken sewer pipes that might keep tourists from coming. And if they say, hey, look, we should spend our money on advertising, go spend the money on advertising. But if it's to spend money on sewer pipes so that we can upgrade the product, let's spend our resources there. The state's hotels are in an uproar. Soon to be 120 million visitors. That is directly correlated back to the amount of money we're spending on advertising. So losing it means less tourists. Absolutely. Less tourists, less jobs. The legislation got its first hearing before the full House Wednesday. Randy Fine is the House sponsor. If you need to build a road to get to the convention center or put in sewage or, or electric lines to get to the convention center, you certainly can do that. The state's hotel industry says what they worry about is what they're calling mission creep. There's already been some mission creep. Beachfront counties can use the money for lifeguards and emergency services. Orlando's Mike Miller has voted no three times in committee. It was not what the bill was originally designed to do, and that is for advertising our state to other places. If approved, diverting the cash would require an independent analysis conducted by an expert on its impact on tourism. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.